lot, we're tired, we're reflecting our the way we're feeling in the game right now. <laughs> we're saying goodbye to our characters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get a little miniature out. Well, we're not dead yet. We've still got yeah. We've still got some time. Yeah. And we've got we've got tricks up our sleeves. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Stu, you you literally just said off air a second ago. Don't worry, everyone. I have a plan. I think his plan is running <laughs> away. I, I don't think I said don't worry. I mean, worry, <laughs> worry. Everybody should worry. But yes, Alwyn has a plan. Alwyn has a plan. I mean, yeah, basically, he has run away from the fight. Why, coward? Maybe into the jaws of death. Speaking of the jaws of death, welcome back, listeners, to Tales from the Twenty Side, a Pathfinder Second Edition Let's Play podcast. My name is Dom, and I'm your GM for this game and many others. And I'm joined by Stu. Hello. I'm joined by Amy. Hello. And I'm joined by Asta. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm, tr- I'm desperately trying to muster some form of energy uh, in the sweat box that is my my flat right now. I'm enjoying a coffee. It's I so thought- nice and warm. I thought about having a coffee, but that would be my fourth one today. And, and as much as I talked about becoming a coffee snob earlier, that might be a, t- a touch too far. Just a touch. Get by decaf ground coffee. And then you don't have to deprive yourself of coffee at any point. Mm, that's true. That's very, very true. I have to consider it. Mm, that's what I do. I mean, this is not caffeinated coffee. Not at this time of night. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, as someone who drinks like regularly drinks like five, six cups a day, mm-hmm. only in the morning, obviously, because I don't want it to affect my sleep. But are you saying that four is a lot? Four, four is a lot for me. I mean, I mean, as I said, I said off air, like I've only recently started drinking proper coffee. Like I've been, I, I, I used to drink instant, all just all the time. Um, but you get a much higher caffeine content in like a properly brewed ground coffee than you do in an instant. Mm. Yeah, and and yeah, mm. as 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 somebody who 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 is just uh, just beginning to nurture their coffee addiction, um, four four feels like a lot for me. I get, See, I get a bit jittery if I have more than that. Yeah, I tend not to have two caffeinated coffees a day. I feel like two is more than enough for me. But then I, I have in the past like drunk coffee all the time and tea on top. I suppose it helps that I'm like a greater mass as well than any of you. Hmm. That's that's I mean, got to play a part. Yeah, I, I mean, I think body caffeine. type and makeup and all that sort of stuff can can affect. It's, I mean, it's it's the same as alcohol. You know, any kind of um, mind altering substance um, will be affected by your body mass and all, uh, and all that sort of stuff as well, and uh, and your general lifestyle and all that kind of, all that kind of thing. Oh, I, I, I know someone who is probably, I'm going to estimate, a third to a quarter of my mass who can handle certain mind-altering substances way better than I can. <laughs> uh, as a camping trip once proved. I, wa- I wonder who that could be, Stu. Very mysterious. <laughs> I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to name names. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I. Uh, yes, I got off my tits one night. <laughs> you know, as as long as you got you got back on them at some point, that's all that matters. Oh yes, yes, I definitely slept well. <laughs> I slept better than I had been for a very long time. Go. Okay. Mm. How are you doing? Ever? Good. A- a- anybody else in a similar state of melting to me? Always. It is quite warm. I am. Um, I cannot regulate my own body temperature for because of medical conditions. So um, mm. the heat is um, not good. It's just like if I could have four fans just around me at all mm. times and not have to pay the electricity bill for them, <laughs> I would. <laughs> That's yeah. why you get battery-operated fans. <laughs> But then the batteries are so expensive now as well. That's true. That's true. 
That is true. I just need someone on like a bicycle in the corner of the room powering them. <laughs> I mean, Billy has ha- has a bike, doesn't he? He does. Let's set him up with a van. <laughs> Could you get like one powered by cats? Ooh. I think the like cat wheel. You could try, but I think the cats would rebel against it. Just like put them in it when they've got the zoomies. (laughs) Get like three minutes of really cold air, and then the rest of the day they're unconscious and I'm melting again. (laughs) Those three minutes were nice. Well, this uh, this podcast has plenty of fans, unfortunately. Hey, yes, and they it does. do keep us cool. They do keep us cool. Yeah. To to some extent, I, I I I'm not joking when I say I'm melting right now. <laughs> it's cool. There's nothing cooler than an actual play RPG podcast. I mean, that's debatable, Stu, <laughs> but it's uh, it's certainly good fun. It's certainly good fun. Absolutely. Mm. I think it's cool anyway. Mm. Especially well. when you can listen to the podcast out and about in the sunshine. You don't need to be stuck indoors. And maybe if we um, heat. If we keep talking about how cold Irison is, it might keep them cool. Mm. That's it. If we if we if, if we if we just just focus on the game and we focus on the location that that, that you're in, maybe we can tr- trick ourselves into being a bit. Uh, a bit less, a bit less hot. I mean, the is certainly helping with that at the moment. Oh yes, she is an icy lady, that's for sure. Uh, what's what's what, what's just happened, folks? <laughs> so cold and we're almost dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raiden's almost been put on ice. Mm, I mean, she's on the floor now. Again, icing out. I'm amazed we haven't done any um, Arnold Schwarzenegger um, Batman jokes. Oh, I don't know <laughs> it well enough. I to see you. And what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice, the ice Age. Age. <laughs> I mean, what? Like, but that's I wrong, know. isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. it's factually <laughs> wrong, but that film doesn't care. It's great. Mm. <laughs> also, that's supposed to be a pun. I mean, I know I'm like no expert in buns as much as I practice a lot um, but like what? I, th- I think I think the pun is as much in the delivery and the ridiculousness of that character as, as anything else as actual wordplay he's just giving cool one liners that's, that's literally what he does that's literally what he does in that, that entire film it, it, it's all ice based based puns and some of them aren't even puns they're just this is ridiculous. Just ice. Mr. Freeze. What a character. Just doing psychic damage left, right, and centre. <laughs> Who's your favourite Batman then, round the table? Oh, good question. I like, um, well, my, my favourite is uh, Batman Begins with Christian Bale. I'm not a mm-hmm. massive fan of the later two, but I think Batman Begins is the perfect Batman film. I uh, I would have to say I'm a fan of the old classics. Uh, Adam West. Yeah, fair enough. Nice. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go out out of left field here. I think, in terms of my favourite actor portraying Batman, please don't hate me for saying this. I think it's got to be Robert Pattinson. I haven't, actually, I haven't seen it, so oh, it's worth watching. The f- the film itself is kind of garbage but he's really good in it my fa- my favorite thing about the robert patterson batman um is when basically he got into some twitter beef with a bunch of sort of diehard dc fans when he when he first got cast um uh, they were like oh no you can't cast him he's he's gonna ruin it and he basically turned around to them and went if you keep shouting like that i'll, I'll do it on purpose <laughs> which is great <laughs> If you're, if you're this that movie though, I mean, we in this Robert Pattinson, but I was involved in that movie. Um, my favorite is of course the best Batman ever to have ever put on the cowl, uh, Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. That's a fair choice. That's but a fair I'm choice. Of that age, you know, the the eighty nine movie, I was like 16, 17. 16. 16 when that came in. I like how we all have a different one, though. 
Isn't isn't that how Batman is so good that he's been mm. rebooted that many times? <laughs> we can all pick a different one. <laughs> so well, the one I I thought I would hate, but actually I really really like the delivery. Is the uh, 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 thingy you know Matt Damon's mate? Um, oh, ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. Ben Affleck. Yeah, like his you. Batman yeah. bits, but but bits were surprisingly good. Like the film is terrible, but I'd like to have seen a proper Batman film with him. As yeah. Batman, he's a, mm. he's a good Bruce as well. Yeah, uh, and I was really not expecting that. I, you know, I didn't have a high opinion of Ben Affleck when that was announced. But um, I think he's probably like yeah. the closest to look the part from the comics. He's good in Dogma. But, yeah. but Michael Keaton, he's the absolute. He's the perfect Bruce and. Mm. Well, we don't have Batman to defeat this time. We have Nadina, evil ice queen extraordinaire. Who's you, cer- you certainly don't have Batman coming to your rescue, as far as <laughs> no. you know. Uh, that's for sure. A- oh, I already used the signal rocket. Does that make a shape of a bat? <laughs> <laughs> can we can we retrofit that in, please? <laughs> I, I mean, the one the one you the one you fired did 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 make the shape of a rose, so I guess it's possible. It's clearly possible. Oh, Seal was here. You know that that's that's the classic Batman. That's song. it. That's it. Uh, well, yeah, as as you right rightly say, Amy, uh, you. You are not fighting Batman. You are fighting uh, Najena Vasilyovna. Um, what, as again, as you rightly say, an, a, an ice queen, or or an icy queen, or maybe or maybe both. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, both are both are valid. But uh, yeah, ice. Get rid of that. <laughs> Delete that out. <laughs> yes, of course I will. I won't. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, th- things are looking a bit dire for you guys. What's uh, where do we find ourselves? What's going on? We're battling Najena, or trying to battle Najena. Um, she keeps going up in the air and disappearing on us, which is rude. Yeah, it's very difficult to counter when I'm not built for range. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if 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 only you had a spellcaster who might be able to uh, to bring her to the ground. Well, we did, <laughs> no, but 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 Ryden's on the floor again. I'm having a that's nap. That's true. She's having a nap. That's true. It's like so we really started trying. the game again. <laughs> yes. We're back to where we were. It's worse off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's trying to invade your mind at the moment. Is she not? Oh, she keeps trying to, mm. but you know, not having. It. No, that's not good. Picked a picked a bad target. It seems seems with that spell, but uh... I get the feeling that a lot of these kind of the the the, the big bad spellcasters are almost geared up to be anti sort of the fighter class or barbarian class, kind of it like did... a metaphor for mind versus matter. I mean, it depends on the spells you choose. Like, if you if you're if if you're smart with the spells you choose, this is a message for anybody who's who's making villains. Um, if you know your party, and, and particularly if you have a spellcaster who um, you know has time to research the party before she before they fight them, um, you can come up with some nasty strategies to, to to challenge to challenge everybody in the group because at the end of the day that's that that's what these casters would do is is given the given the right time they would research the ways to the ways to the ways to battle you most effectively mm. Mm, yes as you know indeed parties do with the big bats mm. if they're sensible mm. and we have somewhat made an end for ourselves that you have, um, as yeah, as, as, as sneaky as you thought you were being, uh, perhaps you've not been sneaky enough this entire time. Uh, but regardless, uh, should we get back into the game, find out what's going on here? Yes. <laughs> we need to uh, we need to do something about poor Raiden, who's hit the deck again. Yes, she has. Uh, speaking of that, uh, we are in the middle of Najena's turn, so her first action, obviously, she. Um, you, heard her, you heard her cackle once more, uh, trying to invade Alwyn's mind as she did so. Uh, she then, uh, bursting out of invisibility, she grabbed Raiden by by the face, uh, cast some form of 
incredibly painful magic on her. And then you watched as Raiden um, basically went limp in her grasp and then crumpled, crumpled to the ground as Najena released her. Um, sort of looking down um, at you at, at her feet, Raiden, uh, Della and Alwyn will sort of hear her, hear her, you hear her sort of, um, hmm. And here I thought you had more in you than that. Never mind. Um, there is a spray of ice as, as she turns on her heel uh, and glides now towards you, Della. She glides towards you uh, with this uh, sickle, this, bla- this ice bla- bl- bladed sickle uh, flashing in your direction. Lovely. Ooh, it's not a great roll. Take a penalty because of the spell attack she just made. 21 to hit Della. That does not hit. Yeah, so she, she um, as graceful as, as a figure skater, sort of clad in this, um, in this, this, this armor of ice, um, she, she pirouettes away from Raiden, having just dropped her to, to the ground. Uh, the sickle flashes in her hand as she streaks toward you. Uh, she swings it um, with what would, what would be a nasty strike, uh, but you're able to, to just... You kind of matrix under it as, as as she swings, she swings, she swings towards you. That will end her turn. It's Della. <laughs> Thanks for coming closer. I'm going to use the dagger that's in my hand that I pulled out from my neck last turn and stab her in the shin. Yeah, make it I'm sure she's taller than me. She's pretty tall. She's a good. She's a good six and a half feet tall. I dropped my dice. Uh, so that's a total of um, fourteen. Total of fourteen. It's that not is. a one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not a one, but it is a big old miss. Um, mm. Just cu- cu- kind of re- recovering your balance from dodging out of the way of that strike. You can't get enough of. But, but basically, uh, the two of you kind of swing for each other at, at the same time, almost in this graceful ice ballet as, as the weapons glide past each other. Okay. Uh, using my free action, I'm going to grab another dagger from my neck. Yep. And I'm going to attempt that again. <laughs> sure thing. Roll the attack. So the dagger, um, if you if, if you keep hold of the dagger, the dagger doesn't go away. Oh, that's true. Well, I'm going to use my hero point on that one. Okay. And... Uh, I rolled another one, so I guess it's meant to oh, be. Oh, Della. Roll a d6 for me. Let's see if you fumble. I rolled a six. You rolled a six. That's not a critical fumble, just a bad miss. Oh, phew. Yeah, okay. As, as the two of you kind, kind of dance around each other for a second, blades flashing, but, but not finding any purchase. All right. Uh, uh, I think you have an action hmm. left, Della. I do. I'm, I'm feeling like I've got the wind knocked out of me after that terrible display, though. Um, hmm. I'll just... Third time's a charm. Let's go for a last attack. Oh, so close to a 20. Um, but that will only be an 18. 18 is a miss, I'm afraid. Yeah. That's me. No, oh, it's happening again. <laughs> we we do seem to be in like a weird <laughs> a weird like time bubble at the moment. Like Amy seems to roll amazingly one one episode, and then literally the very, the very next episode she rolls awfully for the whole episode. Yeah. We just kind of we kind of keep flipping between the two right now. There's no middle ground. It's really mm-hmm. weird. Um, Alwyn, it's your turn. You start your turn um, within this bone fence as this uh, um, as the hut uh, turns and looks quizzically in your direction. What do you do? Uh, as Raiden has just gone down as well. Um, first action will be to call over to Chardonnay, who's not been following his way, um, to attack Najena. Um, now, can Chardonnay get... Can, can Chardonnay basically get in a flanking position? Uh, Chardonnay can get into a flanking position. Uh, however, to do so would require a change of direction, so I'll need a reflex save from Chardonnay. Okay, well, that, does that mean it'll take Chardonnay two actions? 
Uh, no, so Chard Char Chardonnay can get there w with one action. Um, however, if he, um, as mentioned, with the change in direction, there's a chance he can fall prone. Okay. Uh, so the reflex is... Ooh, nine on the die for a dirty 20. Dirty 20, it's not enough. Um, Chardonnay goes to scamper around, uh, around Najena, uh, loses his footing as he turns the corner and falls prone. Uh, what I will say with that, he, he is within five feet of her, so he can still make an attack if he wishes, but he's not in that flanking position. Okay, let's make the attack. Sure thing. Um, Jaws attack here. Ugh, 17. 17 is a miss, I'm afraid. Snaps to Germany water. Not it's really, really not. Um, it's still your turn though, Alwyn. Yep, we've got three more actions to go. Uh, so, second action will be to hop back over the fence. Yep, you do so. Third action will be to, if I c hopefully I can get to Raiden in one action, can I? You cannot. Uh, so, because Raiden moved away from the group, um, just to kind of break the clump a bit, she basically moved away from the hut whilst you moved towards it. Yeah, I know that was for good reason. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> okay, is, is it going to take two actions to get to Raiden? Then? Uh, at least. So, basically, if you were to m move in a straight line, one action would get you next to Della. Um, and then a third action would get you move bas basically halfway towards Raiden. Okay, I'll get, as, I'll get as close to Raiden as I can. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll sort of call over around. my shoulder to the hut. Uh, I'll be back with you in a moment. Uh, I'm a friend, <laughs> honest. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, I will say, as part of that movement, uh, you can get yourself into basically into a flanking position with Chardonnay uh, right at this moment, but you're not quite at riding yet. Okay. Um, okay, yes. Yes, I'll do that. Then. Yep, sure, that's fine. Uh, is that you done, Alwyn? I think it is. One to command Chardonnay, sure. one to go over the fence, and then two to move. Yes, that's that. That's the end of your turn. <laughs> okay, end of Alwyn's turn. We come round to Raiden. Raiden, you are currently dying too. And so at the start of your turn, I need you to roll a d20 for me, please. It's just a flat check, so d20 with no modifiers. The DC is 10 plus your dying value, so DC 12. Uh, I rolled a 14. A 14, that is a success. Your dying value reduces by 1, making you dying 1. So getting better, but still not out of the woods. Uh, that then uh, ends your turn. We are round to Najena. What's she going to do? Hmm. She's actually starting to run out of magic. Well, I should think so. <laughs> hmm. Uh, at, the, at the start of her turn, once more, as 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 she's kind of locking blades with Della, um, you hear her cackle once more. <laughs> uh, no, uh, another will save from Alwyn, please. I'm not going to use the reaction in this instance. Um, does her casting a spell um, provoke an attack of opportunity? Uh, that is not her casting a spell. That is her sustaining a spell that's already been cast. Okay. Uh, so I'm not going to use the reaction this time. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I might regret that. Um, so that's 22. I still get the plus one for Witch Warden, though, don't you? Yes, you so do. That's 23. 23. So that uh, is a failure, Alwyn. You are stunned worm. Okay. All right. Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be a lot, a lot worse. Um, right, okay. Um, she's then going to... Uh, as she finishes cackling, she she looks at you, sees you resisting this effect. Um, you're moving you, you're moving far too quickly for, my, for quickly for quickly for my liking. Um, she brings uh, this wand up in, in your direction, Al Alwyn, and she's going to attempt to cast dispel magic on the haste that is affecting you. 
Uh, Ryden, what's your spell DC? 22. 22, okay. Does this provoke an attack? Uh, this will provoke an attack opportunity as she casts a spell. An eight for twenty-three. Okay. I mean, she is being flanked. Uh, even even flanked. That's still not enough. Okay. So um, you 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 strike in in with attack of, of opportunity. Uh, she dodges ni- nimbly out of your way, almost expecting you uh, to go for that strike. Uh, right. You said your spell DC was twenty-two. Yes. Okay, uh, she rolled actually quite badly on that counteract check uh, for a total of 23, which is a success. However, uh, can you remind me what level um, haste is, please, three. Bryden? It is three. It is three. Oh, that is a shame. I thought it was four. Um, so, yeah, um, with the success, uh, her, her dispel magic was at second level. Because she succeeded, um, she she counteracts the magic if it is no more than one level higher, which in this case it is. Uh, the haste is gone, Alwyn. Okay. Uh, which will put you on two actions for the next turn. That does take her yeah. two actions to do that. Uh, she's then going to... Is she still dazzled, by the way? Uh, I think that lasted until the end of... Um, actually, no the end of end of your next turn I think that was that was until just check it can't remember uh, Horizon Thunder Spear yeah. wasn't it what's the wording on the spell uh, dazzled for one round for one round so, uh, so, so basically that, that would have lasted until the end of your turn okay. uh, so because you've had your turn that, that, that's gone uh, but always worth checking um, now what is she going to do? Uh, continuing this graceful glide on the ice, um, she glides out of the murder sandwich that Alwyn and Chardonnay have her in. Um, As she does so, because uh, we have completely forgotten about Chardonnay, but at this point, as 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 she glides past, um, she will make a strike at Chardonnay with a natural twenty. Oh boy! So we're going to hit. Ah, there we go. As a named character, as a name, she gets not crit card. Uh oh. This is not good at all. Get some dice go in. Fucking awful dice roll. Keep saying that. Uh, 24 points of cold and slashing damage to Chardonnay. Okay. Chardonnay's still up. Still up, okay. And as as she does this, um, the crit card that Najena draws uh, is stand aside. Uh, she, um, the force of this blow uh, is enough uh, to knock Chardonnay uh, basically five feet feet away from her as as she glides past. Okay, it's not too bad. I drew some pretty bad options there, so I was like yeah, that's that, that's the most fun. But with this motion, she she skates past, delivers this strike against Chardonnay, and, and with a pirouette, uh, you find her behind you, Della. And it's and it's Della's turn. Oh well, I'll spin on my heel. Um. And I'm gonna stab at her with the dagger that I have. Yep, roll the attack. I will hit one day. That is a twenty-six. Twenty-six is not enough to hit, I'm afraid. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna. Drop in fact, s- as 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 you dive in with the um. Uh, with the dagger there, there, there Della. Um, it's, you, you think you're, you're about to hit her. Um, you, you cut through um, the, this icy carapace that, that she's got, and then you strike what seems to be a barrier of magic um, across her skin. 
Oh, she's not making this easy. Right, I'm gonna nah. use my free action to drop a dagger. End of end of book boss. What can I say, man? Yeah. She's not gonna um, make it easy. <laughs> I'm gonna draw my plus one rapier, my old faithful. Hmm. That's uh, my second action, and for my third action, I'm gonna hit her. Roll the attack. Rolled one. Oh, Della, <laughs> D6 for me. <laughs> I can't believe I rolled one. What? Three. Three is a critical fumble for Della. Uh oh. It's a melee attack. Oh. Oh, that's Rapier. not so bad. Uh, with, with your with, with your rapier, Della, as as you plunge in, um, you basically you, you overextend and you and you and you miss um, with, with the attack. But as you do so, you feel your grip. Um, you feel the blade almost slip slip, slip out of your grasp. Um, you catch it at the last second. You don't you, you don't drop it. Uh, however, you drew bad grip, uh, so you take a penalty to attack rolls with this weapon until the end of your next turn. I needed that, obviously. You can't mine this from one, right? <laughs> yeah, if if that's that's the way the, the way the game works. If it would go, if it would go below zero and you have a minus it instead, it's a, it's a bonus instead, right? Yeah, I just I feel like Della's like too emotional about this whole situation because she's like killed her friend, well her colleagues before, and now this is all happening again. She's just not yeah. able to deal with yeah. it. Yeah, the, f- the first the first time. Up. The first time Della, Della fought this fought this woman, I, I use the word fought very loosely because she she killed your companions without really breaking a sweat. No, no, I imagine this is very very traumatic for her. Yeah, and there's very no traumatic. portal out of this one. Not there this is not. time. There is not. Uh, however, there might be an Alwyn out of this one. It's Alwyn's turn. <laughs> okay, uh, how far away is right in there? Uh, Raiden, you can get to Raiden uh, with 15 feet of movement in a, in a straight line. Oh, that's two actions, which is all I've got. Yes, I, it is. I will say this, Raiden is very lucky that Chardonnay did not go down. <laughs> 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 but yes, Alvin will use his two actions to get up to Raiden. That's it. That's all he can do, okay. Uh, end of Alwyn's turn. Things are looking desperate. We're on to Raiden. Uh, start your turn. I need another recovery check, please. Uh, DC is now 11, because your dying value has decreased. That's a natural 20. A natural 20. Fantastic. So Raiden... Um, uh, obviously, Alwyn won't know this just yet, but Raiden, you, you stabilise at zero hit points. You are, you are unconscious. Uh, in fact, actually, what I'm going to say, uh, because I don't, I, I'm generally speaking, I'm not a fan of things that stop people playing the game. Um, I'm going to say, with that, Raiden, you, Raiden, you splutter to consciousness. Um, you can still talk and all that sort of thing. You, you cannot take any actions, so you can you, you can still be involved in the combat. That Thank you. You can't you can't do anything as, as it were until un, until until uh, your hit points are restored. So yeah, out. Alwyn, as you rush up, rush up to Raiden, you see um, uh, she she weakly, um, fl- her eyes fl- flutter, flutter awake, her breath heaves, and you see she she weakly starts to try and try and get herself to her feet. She doesn't she doesn't seem to have the strength to stand right now. Uh, would be right in thinking that uh, Raiden is now wounded too. Raiden is now wounded too. Yes, that's true. Okay. Uh, Precarious place to be. It's a very precarious place to be. Uh, end of Raiden's turn. We are round to Nadia. Um, Nadia's here. Nadia. Oh, it's, it's because I'm using Nadia's token. <laughs> <laughs> when oh, I said, Nadia! Oh when my I said, gosh! When I said Batman, when I said that, when I said there's no Batman to save you, I meant actually <laughs> Nadia's going to come and save you. Yeah. <laughs> Nadia. <laughs> That will mean nothing to nothing to Asta, as uh, you've you've never met that NPC, sadly. No, but, but uh, I've listened to the podcast. Uh, that's true. You have. That's true. You have. That's true. You have. Do you know what? I I was I was half tempted to write a um, a Nadia rides in to save the day in, the, in this encounter. I did. I didn't do it in the end, sadly. Oh, so. We need it though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is Najena's turn, um, and uh, sort of. Whirling around you, around you, you, you Della. Um, yeah. 
She really is running out of magic. Come on, come at me with your fists. Let's have a proper fight. She will do. Uh, again, uh, you hear her cackle once more. I need Alwyn to make a will save, please. Okay. I'm going to use my reaction. Uh, the Divine Grace, grace. yep. Yeah. Have a plus two. Uh, total of... Uh, there'd be 21. 21 is a failure, Alwyn. Um, you are stunned one. she does it's almost like that's an ability she has <laughs> <laughs> and this spell when it works is a good spell hang on I've just realised I've just realised she is actually out of cackles she can't do that unless she spends an action hmm yeah she's she's feeling pretty pretty confident um she will spend she will spend the action to sustain that spell um you make the will save you fail the will save you're stunned one but it, it costs her an action this time as opposed to the previous times okay she will then again what has she got left and i'm all out of cackles you're allowed to cackle <laughs> <laughs> that's very very true uh, second action. She's going to. Ooh, I'm running out of options here. The surrender one is is still available. Is is still valid, <laughs> of course, of course. Um, second and third actions. She's actually going to reach out towards you, Della. And um, you see her hand crackles uh, with black and red energy. Uh huh. As. She casts a spell. Uh, uh, um, yeah, she. Um, you see her hand whip, whips towards you. As she makes contact with your body, Della, um, you feel your life force being pulled from your body. Make a fortitude save, please. All right. This is increased because of the potion I have? Uh, oh, yes, it is. You took your juggernaut mutagen. So it's plus two, yeah? Yep. Plus one. Plus, plus one. one. Okay, that's, that's better. I did not roll a one. I uh, so that's a total of twenty-six. A total of twenty-six is is a failure. Okay. Glad that's to know it's not a critical yeah. failure. That's that's, uh, good. that's the main thing. That's good. Well, we'll see what you say next because that might not be good. Don't forget you got those five temporary hit points. Yes. Uh, Della, mm-hmm. you take uh, twenty points of negative damage. It didn't matter. Della's on the floor. Oh no, she drops you to the ground. Mm. And you watch as uh, some of her own injuries uh, close up as uh, as she does that. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. Uh, like she's she's still looking wounded. Um, and with that, uh, so her third action. Sorry, her final action, so having dropped Della, Della to the ground. Um, hmm. She 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 skates ac- effortlessly across the ground, uh, sort of diving in your direction, Alwyn. Uh, but that is all of her actions on this turn. It's Alwyn's t- Alwyn's turn. Right. First thing Alvin is going to do is a battle medicine on Raiden. Sure thing. I'm going to do this at expert level. Treat wounds is Yes, so it's a medicine roll. Uh, if you're going for expert, DC 20. DC 20, uh, which to be able to turn if I'm successful. Mm-hmm. It's a seven on the die for a total of a dirty twenty. Oh, oh just succeeds. <laughs> just succeeds. Oh, oh. Have two D eight plus ten hit points back for Raiden. Uh, Raiden 
have yourself 17 hit points. Thank you very much. Very, very nice. And most importantly, I think because that is a treat wounds check. Exactly why I did that and not um, yep. desperate pro with the uh, That clears your wounded condition. Thanks, right? Very, very nice. I'll win the second action. Two. Um, how far away is Chardonnay from Najena? Uh, Chardonnay um, can get to Najena with basically five feet of movement. Okay. Um, if you if you wanted to get into a flanking position, um, oh, Chardonnay is currently prone as well. He, he's um, on the ground from where, where he fell over. Um, yeah, we're not going to do. I mean, if, if if you just if you just wanted to have Chardonnay crawl in into position, like Chardonnay can do that with five feet of movement, he'll still be prone, but he can get into range to attack. Okay, um, let's do that. Let's do that. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Uh, don't know how that would go in commands. <laughs> Stay down, but kill. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Stay down, but also yeah. kill. Yeah. Uh, so, Jaws attack. A 19 is a miss, I'm afraid. Just not getting these hits in. Okay, end of Alwyn's turn. We're round to Raiden. Uh, Raiden, you are conscious and prone on the floor. And uh, yes, uh, now, that you, now that you've had hit points restored, uh, you are able to get to, 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 to act as normal. Okay. Uh, is it a action to stand? It's a single action to stand up, yes. Uh, I will do that with uh, a heavy grunt. And... Uh, I'm going to cast a Horizon Thunder Sphere with just two actions. All right. That's, um, let's have another spell attack. <sighs> Okay, that's that's good. That is a thirty-one to hit. A thirty-one is a hit, right? Roll damage, three d six electricity. <clears throat> Holy shit! That's three sixes. <laughs> nice. Excellent. 18 points of damage. Uh, you see those injuries that, that she closed up a second ago. Um, uh, basically, you you restore the damage you had done a moment ago. She's she's not looking. She's not looking great. She's also not looking like she's about to drop dead. She she she's definitely taken some injuries at this point. And uh, I'll just a uh, free action to uh, flip the bird, and that's me. <laughs> that's right and done. Okay. Brings us around to Della Thornbury. Uh, Della, I need you to make a recovery roll, please. So D20, just a flat D20. You're trying to beat uh, 11. I rolled a 2. Oh dear, uh, you progress to dying 2, Della. Dying 2. That ends your turn. Uh, we are round 2, Najena. Um, sort of as, as she dashes toward, toward you, Alwyn, with her sickle in hand. Um, she looks at you and well, actually yeah you see as as she gets get as she gets towards you Alwyn uh, you see this kind of uh, this same um, preternatural speed that she's been blessed with this entire fight um, you see that actually seems to end as she as she seems to slow down slightly as as, as, as she as she gets up gets up gets up towards you. Uh, with that in mind, uh, she is going to forego sustaining the spell. Uh, that kind of oppressive presence that was in your mind um, uh, fades away, fades away, Alwyn. Good. And <laughs> instead, she is going to... Uh, you see, as as she, she she glides toward you once more, now 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 sweat starting to form on her brow, and her, her breathing getting just a little bit just a little bit heavier than it was a second ago. Um, she says to you, um, "I will not fail my queen." 
Queen Alvana will bring order to this land, and I cannot allow you, agents of chaos that you are, to disrupt disrupt her mat, to, to disrupt to, to disrupt the order that she that, that she will bring. Die! And she makes a strike with her sickle towards towards you, Alwyn, as you've just got riding on her feet. Um, that's a pretty big number. Uh, Thirty-four to hit, Alwyn. It's a critical hit. It's a crit on Alwyn. Oh, this is... Uh, 6, 15. 30 points of slashing and cold damage, Alwyn. Alwyn crumples to the floor. Okay. Uh, whipping... As Alwyn goes down, uh, she whips the sickle round onto Chardonnay. Yeah, she's got no reason not to. Uh, that is a 2 for 22 for 17 against Chardonnay that misses misses against Chardonnay and for her third action um, for her third action her third action staying where she is uh, she, once again she waves a hand across across her as you watch uh, the shield spell take, take effect Okay. Um, end of Nod and end of Najana's turn. Uh, with Alwyn having moved, have, having been dropped, it's Raiden. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, where is Najana in relation to where I am? Uh, so um, Alwyn, is, Alwyn is directly to your north. Um, Najana is to his northwest. So, if you wanted to move up to her, you could, you could do so with five feet of movement. Oh. No, I'm going to get Alwyn up with a potion that I was given some time ago. It is a... All right. I believe it was like the lowest tier of healing potion, but... A, mi- a minor potion, for sure. So, one action to draw it, one action to administer it. That'll be a D8 of healing back to Alwyn. Eight. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. One action remaining, Raiden. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do with that. Uh, I'm going to back up 15 feet. <laughs> Yeah, you you back away once again, moving away from this uh, from this encounter. Uh, that's you done, Raiden. Uh, Della Thornbury, recovery check, please. DC twelve now. Nine. Della, you progress to dying three. It's looking desperate. Very desperate. Alwyn, it's your turn. Arwen will get to his feet. His first action. Yep. How far away is Della? Uh, Della is... Um, you could get there with basically one action's worth of movement. I'll do that. Yep. So that's two actions. Third action... Well, there's a free action desperate prayer all right gain my focus spell instantly yep as i do lay on hands as you do lay on hands restoring 18 hit points to della 18 hit points and della gets two plus two ac for one round all right okay that's our wins done turn Am done I, I believe wounded and, uh, uh you will be wounded one yes Della. Uh, thank you, Raiden. Welcome. <laughs> this voice in the distance. <laughs> Just getting further away. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, that's Alwyn done. Brings us back around to Najena, who watches you, Alwyn, as, as you as you stumble across to Della um, and, and restore her. She 
uh, she looks she she looks at you as you do this and she says um, why do you struggle so it's clear you're no match for the might of Elvana surrender now and perhaps I'll spare your pathetic lives as you see she uh, she holds herself ready held herself ready for something does not take any action at this moment Raiden's turned can I am I able to reach her in one action you are you are I'm gonna do so yep and I'm gonna cast vampiric touch on her Okay, fortitude save, am I correct? Spell DC is 22. Okay, fortitude is not her best stat. I rolled a 6 on the die. For a total of 21 on that fortitude save. She oh, fails, Ryden. My goodness. Twenty-three negative damage. Oh, twenty-three negative damage, and you recover uh, yes. eleven. Am I correct? Yes. Very nasty. You're looking very wounded as as um, as uh, you do this, Raiden. Uh, you strike her with this. She 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 gasps in, in, in gasps in pain, um, and you just hear you, you just hear her whisper, Raiden. So be it. As uh, her re- her ready action goes off, and she makes a, makes a strike with a sickle um, for a big number. <laughs> Gonna be glad you got those hit points back. I think that is a thirty-eight Ooh, to hit, right? Yes, yes, very yes. <laughs> Liberating step if I'm in range. You are in range, Arwen. Um, is that a crit? Yeah. Yes. Was, was that a crit, Ryden? <laughs> I think it was. Again, crappy damage roll. Um, three, nine, twelve. Double is twenty-four. Reduced by Alwyn. Uh, reduced by six. Is it only six? I thought it was more than that. Two plus level, right? Oh, two plus level, isn't it? Yeah, so eight. So eight. So that would would be twenty four points of slashing and cold, reduced to sixteen slashing and cold, Ryden. I am still, still up. up? <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Um, that's going to end your turn, though, I believe. Yes. <laughs> Della Thornbury. Right, I'm awake. You- What's going awake. on? Uh, this is not going well. Um, okay, I'm on the floor. Is is Alwyn next to me? Alwyn is next to you, yes. Okay. Uh, am I able to hand Alwyn an item while being on the floor? Uh, yes, it'll take an action to do so. Okay, I hand you a lesser healing potion. Uh, Alwyn will refuse it. Okay. Keep hold of it. All right. Uh, in that case, as I've already withdrawn it, I will drink it. Drink it. All right. What's that one? Is that an eight? Uh, was it a lesser? Uh, lesser. Yes. Lesser. 2d8 plus 5. 2d8 plus 5. 3, 6, 11. 11 points back to me. That's 11 points better. back. All right. Uh, so that's two actions. Is Najana in striking distance of me? Uh, she is not, okay. unfortunately. I will stand up and grit my teeth. And then my turn. And end your turn, okay. Alwyn. Okay, first thing Alwyn's going to do is battle medicine on himself. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to do the expert level. That is 17 on the die for a total of 30. 30. So that is a critical success. It is. 48 plus 10. 
This is what we need. Um, so it's, 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 it's swinging back, guys. It's swinging yeah. back. It's because we're getting 20, to the end. <laughs> that's it. Tw- 23 on the dice, so that's 33 hit points back. Nice. Um, much more like it. That's Alvin's first action. All right. Uh, and I will lose the wounded condition as well. Yes, you do. Second action will be... Uh, is Chardonnay still up with Nijena? Uh, yes, yes he is. Uh, I'll command Chardonnay to stand up and attack. All right, roll an attack. Another 17 on the die for 28. 28 is just enough to get through her, her mage armor. Roll damage. Good boy. Nine points of damage. Nine points, very nice. Uh, battle medicine, command Chardonnay. Uh, Alwyn's final action. As, as, as Chardonnay bites into, into Najena, I, I almost forgot about this because it hasn't happened for a while, uh, he bites into this icy carapace around her, um, it, which kind of cracks and blasts across his face. Chardonnay takes six points of cold damage as he bites in. About that, I've just been missing. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Six points. Um, uh, okay. Alwyn's final action. Uh, he's he's looking really, really, and and perhaps Della and Ryden haven't seen this look on Alwyn's face before. He is really fucking angry, really angry, and. Um, Start stomping in the Jaina's direction. So basically, I'll use the action to get as close to her. Okay, so you, in a straight line as I can. Uh, you are already up next to her. You don't need to move. Oh, a right. Stab her in the face. Yes, with a cry of living proof that beauty fades, but dumb is forever. <laughs> and I know what I'm talking about when it comes to dumb. <laughs> Take this <laughs> natural twenty. Yes, yes. Oh, the smack top work for a change. <laughs> it really does. Uh, oh, awesome! Uh, with the uh, the rapier, yeah. With this, is with the plus one striking rapier. Deadly D eight. So deadly D eight as well. All right, let's have some damage. Let's have some damage. So my damage is twenty four points of damage. 24 points, okay. After doubling. After doubling, okay. Stu, your choices on the crit card are as follows. Surprise opening or nicked an artery? Nicked an artery, definitely. Nicked an artery, so um, that's... The surgeon that he is. (laughs) That's it, very precise. So that strike um, with nicked an artery... Uh, it deals regular damage, so we uh, 12 points rather than 24. How, how, however, as you carve in, you break through some of this uh, this this magical ice protecting her, and there is just a gout of blood that starts pouring out and uh, does not appear to stop. As Najena is now taking 2d6 persistent bleed damage. Ooh. Uh, as you land that strike, Alwyn, uh, you take 11 points of cold damage as the ice crackles across you. Is that your turn done? That's my three goes. All right, okay. Uh, end of Alwyn's turn. It is Najena's turn. And as you land this strike on her, uh, for a second, uh, you see her resolve shake. Um, she looks o- over, all- over all of you and she says, No, you will not defeat me. You will not. Playtime's over. You watch as she skates effortlessly around all of you. That will provoke an attack of opportunity from Alwyn if you wish it. Yes, I will take it. 22. 22 is a miss. Um, even as wounded as she is, uh, she, uh, uh, she she glides gracefully away from you. Um, again, much like a figure skater on, on, on the ice. And uh, as she as she wheels behind you, Della, kind of clutching her side, she brings her hand up and she says, I might be going down, but I'm taking you with me. 
She lifts her hand up. You watch as shards of ice gather on her fingertips and blast out across all of you. Uh, I need reflex saves from Alwyn, from Della, and from Chardonnay, please. Oh. I don't believe so. Della got a 33. Very nice. 28 for Alwyn. 28 for Alwyn. Chardonnay. 23. 23, okay. So Alwyn, uh, Alwyn and Chardonnay uh, both fail. Uh, Della succeeds. Uh, Alwyn and Chardonnay each take 22 points of cold damage as these uh, jagged shards of ice are, are spray out um, towards towards both towards all of you. Uh, Della, you get out of the way of the worst of it. You take 11 points of cold damage. Okay. She may regret this because Chardonnay has been... Okay. <gasps> oh No. And having cast that spell... You watch as uh, a gout of blood drops from Niz- from Jaina's side. The strength in her legs fails her. She crumples to one knee, and then, looking weakly at you once more, once more, can't believe I was bested by the likes of you. And there is a thud as she collapses on the ground. And that is where we leave it for tonight. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh you so almost died. Oh. <laughs> we, I mean, we all went down at some point. Yeah, we all died. We all, we all Including died. So Jardin without May. that um, liberating step, I would have been back down. I ended on five hit points. <laughs> <sighs> if, nice. if I had not taken that potion I offered to Alwyn, I oh would have also goodness. been down again. Alwyn's down to eight. Yeah. <laughs> after all that, after that massive healing. I've got one potion time. left. <laughs> oh mm. my god, what a fight. <sighs> of course, yeah. Um that was a that was a very hard fought battle, folks. Very, very well done. Uh but with uh, with a hard fought victory comes a well deserved reward as you all level up. Ah! Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, we finally did it. Uh, that's good. Yeah. You've Ooh. only been level six. Uh, you've only been level six for like what a year now. <laughs> I figured it's time to give you one. <laughs> yeah, new level things. Seven. Oh, I'm oh. clicking straight onto what I can get at level seven. There you go. So just, just just a couple of bit, bits of housekeeping before you get too excited. Um, so the way that leveling up will work in this case, um, in terms of hit points, your hit point max in- increases um, and your current hit points increase by by the same amount. You do not go to go to full hit points. Yeah. Um, in terms of spells, uh, you gain the spell slots that you, that you would have, uh, but your new spells, you must rest and prepare them as normal. Uh, any any kind of class features or, or feats, that kind of thing, you will gain uh, kind of from, from this point. Cool. Yeah, so with, uh, with, with, that, with that reaction, I feel like Amy's, Amy's been planning what she's going to take for a very long time. Oh, no, I just I like <laughs> getting new things. So yeah. I'm just looking. Oh, I get evasion. Ooh, critical successes instead. That's nice. I believe I become an expert spellcaster. Mm, I think you do. Le- level seven's pretty big for spellcasters. Oh, I get more than one thing. I'm a master perceptionist. <laughs> Owen becomes a master mm. Ooh, that is needed. I can deal two additional damage now with weapons and unarmed attacks in which I'm an expert. And this damage yes, increases to three if I'm a master. Of course I'm a master. Extra DPS, can't can't argue with that. Mm. All right, well, that requires some number crunching. Oh, exciting. Oh, I'm an expert with my armor now as well, which is good. 
lots of things go up for lots of people. Uh, but yeah, we'll 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 go through all the numbers and stuff off off air. Um, yeah, once once you've done your level up and stuff, if if you could send me your sheets uh, just to look over, that would be great. Tales from the Twenty Side is a Beagle Films production in association with Juicy Fools. Music by Alexander Nakarada and editing by Stu Jackson. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Discord by searching Tales from the Twenty Side or by visiting talesfromthe20side.com. Yeah, well, well done, guys. I'm surprised um, we're still alive. <laughs> you got you got some lucky hits in right at the end there. That's all mm. I'm going to say. Like, um, uh, yeah, when she she was showboating a little bit at the end, to be fair, which kind of gave you a chance to get back into it. But yeah, you came you came in clutch in clutch when it when, clutch when it mattered. I I feel that was definitely the right choice of crit card there. <laughs> mm. without knowing what the other one was mm. I just and I'm definitely I'm not going to tell you what the other one was either nope nope don't want to know I can't even remember what it was called um, I don't uh, it was surprise opening was it was the other one you could have had I'm gonna guess it makes them flat-footed we'll have to find out next time mm. That one comes around. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. <sighs> I, th- I think I need to sit down. That's got to be the toughest combat. So do yeah. I. That was intense. Yeah. I had so much going on with her. My God. <laughs> <sighs> well, we've we, we've got a hut, a chicken hut to um, kill now. I mean, we're gonna. We just almost died. Mm-hmm. Uh. We did. Mm. We did. Um, just for the record, Alwyn's plan was to get into the dancing hut and chuck the stuff in the cauldron to bring back uh, the witch queen, yeah. kind of mid-combat, <laughs> so she could deal with her. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. Uh, mm. But um, yeah, Let, let's hope it's that easy, eh? Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, and I think if he'd have carried on into the hut, Vaiden might not be with us now. Yeah, definitely not. No. Okay. Yeah, I th- I think there's a very good chance that if Alwyn had continued with, continued with what he was doing, there's a very good chance that he'd be the sole survivor right now, based oh, yeah. on what happened afterwards. Yeah, I mean, I've been pretty low for a while. I mean, I still think that was a good plan, but... You know. Oh yeah, but <laughs> obviously, as as is always the case, plans never survive contact with the enemy. Mm-mm. And uh, yeah, 
We somehow we did. Have contact with the player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. 